CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Our place opened its doors for BC's first ever family day today, so those less fortunate around Greater Victoria had a place to spend a few hours this holiday. The downtown drop-in centre kicked off its celebrations with uh, free lunch, and live music, uh, some games and prizes offered throughout the afternoon, and there were movies and uh, a cake this afternoon. The Society says today's about letting everyone know they have a place where they belong and where they can feel they can spend time with family. Well, we've always referred to the people that we serve, people that are living in poverty or living on the street as family. They're the Our Place family, so that's why we wanted to really celebrate our family on Family Day. Today wrapped up with a dinner late this afternoon. The Our Place Society on Pandora Avenue serves more than 1,200 meals to adults in our community every day. NDP leader Adrian Dix on Family Day said if his party is elected to form government in May, he'll restore funding to a Science World Outreach Program. He spoke at Science World in Vancouver this morning. He says the New Democrats would get that program back on the road, traveling to schools around the province. It was launched in 2005, but the funding for it was cut last June. Dix says the program was popular and spanned 140 communities across the province. I don't think that's a good idea. I think the program was excellent, had it met its test at every performance indicator required. And it met its test for the future of BC as well. The NDP leader says reinvesting in science makes sense because more than 100,000 science-related jobs are expected to open up in the next decade. Restoring the program would cost about $1 million a year. The Idle No More movement moved today from land to sea. Members of the Snanemu First Nation and other First Nations gathered in Departure Bay in the Nama this afternoon to launch a canoe aimed at spreading awareness of their movement. The ferry terminal was uh, packed with travelers making their way home from the family day long weekend. The protesters paddled to the BC Ferry's berth while the three o'clock sailing was boarding, getting attention from the passengers who were waiting at the terminal. Well, we're taking uh, canoes out just to, uh, to provide demonstration and uh, trying to gain attention from the public. The whole idea here is to um, to educate the public. It's a it's a picketing uh, information uh, demonstration. The demonstrators eventually cleared the berth to allow the sailing to leave on schedule. Several returned later in the day on foot, and the police were called. But BC Ferries says there was no disruption, no altercations, and ferry traffic continues to move smoothly. Violent weather in the U.S. A massive tornado touched down in the southern states, causing major damage. The funnel cloud came rolling down the main street in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Tornado sirens sounded just a half hour before a huge twister. The folks did get the warning uh, that the twister was bearing down. 60 were injured, but because of the warning, no one was killed. About 200 homes and businesses were damaged or destroyed. The University of Southern Mississippi was also hit, but the students are on their Mardi Gras holiday, so many of them were not on campus at the time. A new development in the manhunt for Christopher Dorner, the suspected L.A. cop suspected in a triple murder. Police are now offering a $1 million reward for information leading to his arrest. Dorner has been on the run for a little over a week now after two people were murdered, including the daughter of a former Los Angeles police captain. A police officer was shot dead during the manhunt for Dorner. His pickup truck was later found in the mountains northeast of the city. He was fired from the LAPD in 2009. Federal politics, the Harper government says it's scrapping its contentious internet surveillance bill. It was known as the Protecting Children from Internet Predators Act. The Justice Minister says instead the Harper government will make modest changes to Canada's warrantless wiretap law. Police forces across the country said they needed that bill so they could go after child pornographers. Privacy and civil liberties groups argued that it violated your privacy. An energetic young Saanich girl is on a mission to save lives uh, by skipping rope. Eight-year-old Haley Micklick has been uh, raising money for the Heart and Stroke Foundation's Jump Rope for Heart program since she was in kindergarten. She survived open-heart surgery as an infant, and when she was just a year old, uh, her dad suffered a heart attack and died at the age of 38. Last year, Haley raised more than $2,200 and was the top fundraiser for the Jump Rope program across B.C. I want to... Um raise money for Jump Rope for Heart because I want to help people survive and my dad and me also have um, had that feeling. It's really great to have uh, such a young, um, inspiring student like Haley because uh, peers can really look up to her and hopefully take on that message. I have um, a cape that says Heart Heroes and 
it helped, and I feel like a heart hero when I wear it. This year, Haley's hoping to raise $3,000. To find out more about Haley or to make a donation, visit HaleyJumpsRopeForHeart.com. The section of Brecon Road and the Old Island Highway is now clear after a crash closed it in Nanaimo just before 4 o'clock today. Police well, say a northbound vehicle was unable to stop at the intersection in time and crashed into the back of a flatbed truck and ended up on its side. The driver was pulled out through the window, taken to the hospital, suffering non-life-threatening injuries. Fire spread through the attic of a townhouse complex in Courtney early this morning. The flames broke out just after midnight at Pine Place on Back Road. The fire started above the middle unit and quickly spread to either side. Investigators believe electrical wiring was the cause of the fire. It's interconnected to another three units in the, that it's got an open, or open attic space between them. So spread from one to the other is quite easy. It's fires knocked down, so we're just digging it out. All three units uh, will need work before the families that live there can move back in. Nobody was hurt in the fire. A late night fire destroyed a home in the Noose Bay last week and now the community is pulling together to help the family that lived there. The flames did not just destroy their home, they also reduced the family's cabinet making business to ashes. Well, we've lost everything as well as, uh, you know, customers and stuff. We've had, uh, we had multiple kitchens um, in the shop at the time. So, uh, you know, we've been even trying to open a restaurant for my wife and uh, half the furnishings and stuff were in my shop. We, we, lost, we lost everything, every, every cent, everything that we ever had, every picture of the kids, everything we've ever had is in that house. The family has now hired a lawyer after its insurance company refused to cover the damage. To find out how you can help the family, uh, there is a Facebook group, Help the Hollies. Or you can donate to the Holly Tragedy Fund at the Royal Bank Branch in Parksville. Well, communities up and down Vancouver Island held Family Day celebrations today, and in Nanaimo, they drew quite a crowd. The Nanaimo Aquatic Center and the Nanaimo Ice Center offered free swimming and skating. Kids could also pan for gold, get their faces painted, and listen to stories. And Science World was on hand as well. We just wanted everybody to have access to, you know, family activities, and we really want people to take a break from their busy, uh, heavily electronic uh, lives today and really just come out and spend time as a, as a family unit. And we thought that uh, we really have a role and we have the, the resources to uh, offer something for families to do that's really positive and healthy. It's nice that they have a stat for it, but you shouldn't have to have a stat for it. My family day should be all the time anyways, but it's, you know, it's a bonus. Well, I think it's fantastic. We need more days to be stats to celebrate with our friends and family, and I think it's great. The Nanaimo City staff expected a big turnout, and they got it. Families filled the city's rec centers all day.